They may not know it, but the people of the small Dutch town are riding over a project that has the potential to change the way we build roads and generate electricity. From a distance, a stretch of bike path like this doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary. But if you examine it closely, underneath this hardened glass, you can see the solar panels. Now on a fine day, a stretch like this, 70 metres long, produces about enough electricity to power three homes. The project took cheap, mass-produced solar panels and sandwiched them between layers of glass, silicon rubber and concrete. This version can have a, a fire brigade truck of 12 tons without any damage. And uh, we were working on, on panels for big buses and uh, large vehicles in the long run. The panels are connected to smart meters, which can optimize their output and feed the electricity to street lighting, to electric vehicles or into the grid. The research group spent the last five years developing the technology, creating slabs that were suitable for paving, but also dirt repellent and tough enough to endure harsh outdoor conditions. We made a set of coatings which is uh, robust enough to, to deal with the traffic loads, and, uh, but also give traction to the, to the vehicles passing by, especially for the bicycles of course, uh, and also uh, transfer as much light as possible uh, onto the solar cells so the solar cells can do their work. Another project, also in the Netherlands, has also been exploring alternative roading surfaces. A tribute to the painter Van Gogh, this bike path near Eindhoven is lit up by glow-in-the-dark technology and solar-powered LED lights. But rather than focusing on beauty, the solar road team is hoping the economics of their product will be its selling point. Well, solar panels on roofs are designed or have a lifetime which is typically 20, 25 years. Well, this is the type of lifetime that we also want to have for these type of slabs, which means that if you have a payback time of 15 years, then afterwards you also have a, some payback of the road itself, so that makes the roads cheaper in, in the end. The team are working to refine the technology, but say that within five years they hope to offer a green and cost-effective road surface they say could pave the future. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Cromany, the Netherlands.